Hi, everyone. I'm Vladimir Dutit. We are following some breaking news for you this morning. Israel's military says it is investigating the possibility that it has killed this man, the leader of Hamas. Right, in this breaking news into CNN, the IDF is investigating whether uh, one of three people killed in a strike in Gaza was Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar. Okay, 9.32 here in New York. And there are reports that the leader of Hamas and the mastermind of October 7th, Sinwar, may be dead. If this is confirmed, this would mark a major development in the war in the Middle East. The writers and the writers tried to explain to the audience who Sinwar is and why it's important to him so much. He has been a thorn in the side for them for a very long time. He was in prison for many years. He was released as part of a deal some time ago. He is believed by the Israelis to be instrumental in the October the 7th attacks. The chef of Hamas, the one that the Israelis surnomment the boucher of Khan Younes, because when he was at the head of the unit that was charged in the head of Hamas to pursue the collaborators of the Palestinians. בממשל האמריקני אמרו בתקופה האחרונה כי סינואר הוא האיש שמונע עסקה ובעולם שאלו את השאלה שמטרידה כל כך הרבה ישראלים האם מותו של הטרוריסט הבכיר יקדם את השבת החטופים? Euh, on rappelle que l'éradication du Hamas était l'un des deux objectifs de l'offensive israélienne dans la bande de Gaza, le deuxième étant justement euh, la libération des otages. Pour rappel, il y a 101 otages euh, qui sont toujours euh, aux, mains des, aux mains des ravisseurs euh, du Hamas. חבר הקונגרס הדמוקרטי והפרו-ישראלי ריצ'י טורס היה מהראשונים להגיב על החדשות וכתב בחשבון האקס שלו קרוב לוודאי שהעולם נפטר מיחיא סילואר, המוח מאחורי הטבח הקטלני ביותר בעם היהודי מאז השואה. אנו ממתינים לאישור רשמי בנוגע למצב גופתו הנרקבת בגיהנום, שם מקומו. If Sinwar is indeed dead, the shock is probably ripping, rippling across uh, Hamas members across Gaza, along with the Middle East. Moment of possible hope. Hope for ending the war in Gaza, hope for getting our 101 hostages back, and hope for starting to build something different in Gaza that isn't ruled by extremists. The discussions in the Ulpans and the reactions in the world on the arrival of Sinwar will continue to spread into the night, and hopefully also in the coming days.